Welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. Saul Canelo Alvarez stops Sergey Kovalev in the 11th round. And you know what? Let's just break down the fight honestly and unbiasedly um, from beginning to end. And when we look at it, you see that, you know, Canelo Alvarez and Sergey Kovalev started off slow. You know, I gave the first round, maybe first round and a half, possibly the first two rounds to Sergey Kovalev. It looks like Sergey Kovalev was establishing his jab and Canelo Alvarez was trying to find what strategy he wanted to go with. After the second round, I noticed that Canelo Alvarez was methodically walking down Sergey Kovalev. He started blocking at least half of his jabs. He was countering him, made Sergey Kovalev not even want to throw a shot in fear of being countered to the body. Um, he was absorbing a lot of headshots. And see, the problem with this fight for Sergey Kovalev and his flawed game plan is that he didn't unleash the crusher early in the fight. See, the thing is, when you see Sergey Kovalev, he was eating a lot of headshots in fear of taking body shots. And the thing that cost him the fight was in fact a headshot one straight to the chin so canelo alvarez did what andre ward couldn't even do is drop sergey kovalev without a body shot straight to the chin straight on the chin and that was what was impressive about canelo alvarez's performance he dominated sergey kovalev like he's never been dominated either alvarez didn't do it Andre Ward didn't do it. Canelo Alvarez dominated the crusher in a way that he's never been dominated. You could say that he had been crushed. The fact that Canelo Alvarez was moving forward had Sergey Kovalev on the back foot the entire fight. The fact that Sergey Kovalev was eating, you know, hard hooks counters all night long the fact that he was being walked down from a guy moving up two weight classes shows you the tremendous elite level skill set of canelo alvarez this is what you call pound for pound number one the best fighter in the world there's not a shadow of a doubt anybody still trying to debate who's the best fighter in the world and you don't say it's canelo alvarez is an absolute fanboy hater and a troll you don't know boxing because if what we just saw was a boxing clinic put on by canelo alvarez with a big finish and if we have to be honest and objective about it you've seen canelo alvarez and you're going to see a lot of people downplay it but if the truth is is that canelo alvarez put himself at enormous risk against a guy who's much bigger than him who, who had an enormous weight advantage and he ended up stopping him in the 11th round and even before then had the fight went to a decision you see canelo alvarez was literally dominating almost every single round blocking half of kovalev's shots showing off tremendous speed showing off tremendous reflexes and counters and body work and you know what canelo alvarez kept that same pace kept that same energy going sergey kovalev was fearful to throw anything other than an occasional hook or mostly jabs that was pretty much how he was fighting the fight it looks like he was just content to try to cruise to a decision after a while because he was feeling those counters all night long and we didn't know how much he was feeling them until you know canelo alvarez stung him and then stopped him in the 11th round it was probably one of the best performances I've seen. And a lot of people say, well, Canelo Alvarez didn't stop middleweights. How in the world would he be able to stop a guy at 175 pounds in Sergey Kovalev? Well, you have to look at it and be honest and objective. Canelo Alvarez, Canelo Alvarez is one of the only fighters to back up Triple G Gennady Golovkin. And not only did he back him up, he hurt Golovkin to the body. You see the damage he put on Golovkin, and Golovkin was had his hands up half of the fight. And then you see, on the other hand, Danny Jacobs, same way, much bigger guy, came in almost at 190 pounds on Canelo Alvarez and still was backed up consistently, still had his hands up high because these guys were feeling no shots. These guys were protecting themselves. Sergey Kovalev was eating a lot more headshots than any of his opponents at 160 pounds. That's how you can tell that the guys that were willing because Sergey Kovalev didn't anticipate a guy from 160 being able to hit with the ferocity and accuracy that you know Canelo Alvarez would be able to hit him with and Canelo Alvarez put on a, a fantastic display of power patience intelligence ring IQ he shows that there's truly levels in boxing and he is at the elite and level um, Canelo Alvarez is no, without a doubt number one pound for pound he put on a spectacular knockout and his greatness can no longer be doubted once again unbiased as always is the ibfp